Welcome to the third and I think final part of the intro uh, Excel series. Uh, in this series I want to talk about how you use the chart wizard to create some basic graphs. All right, the story we have set up here, the data, is that I've looked at the start of each academic year, starting with 2004, 2005, then 2005, and so forth. And then I was able to find the uh, average uh, undergraduate uh, tuition for in-state South Carolina students at public colleges and universities. And so we want to graph this information. OK, so first of all, let's do a column graph. Uh, so if I highlight the data that I want to graph, now that's the, this is the y-axis information. Uh, the years, or academic years, we want to put along the x-axis. So I highlight the y-axis values and go to my chart wizard. And it has the first item highlighted, which is the column graph. And it has the subtype uh, that is, I would like here. So I can... Uh, go to the uh, next tab. Now, uh, notice that it has the default values along on the x-axis here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and what I want is the uh, academic years. So I have to go to the series tab, and under the series tab, notice that I have a category x-axis label. If I click in this, and go over and highlight the academic years, it then places those values into the uh, uh, x-axis value there. Now, <clears throat> I could go to the next tab there. Well, it allows me to, uh, this little label on the side, a legend. I don't really need it, just one set of data. Uh, I could put titles in here if I want. Uh, so the x-axis was going to be what? Academic years. The y-axis was going to be tuition. And I could put a title on the whole graph if I wanted it. Uh, let's just tell it to finish at this point here. And there's my graph. Now, oh, well, that tuition, you have to sort of stand on your head to read that. So if I right-click on that uh, and say format, uh, format, whatever it said, uh, then I can go and make the alignment here convert that text around so it points in the right direction and I can read it. Uh, another thing I don't like is the uh, gray coloring of this. So if I right click on that format plot area, go to the area pattern and I'll say none and that gets rid of that uh, white. Now I can uh, uh, move this around any place I like get it out of the way here. Uh, now let's do another graph. In this case let's do a XY graph. Well I can actually start out in the same way. I can start and highlight my Y values, go to the chart wizard. Now I'll do a scatter diagram and I'll choose this pattern up here. Uh, we can put the patterns which have the lines in them or lines and markers. It tells you right down here if you put the cursor on it, it explains exactly what the pattern is. Okay, let's go to next. Now, again, the x-axis has got the standard default title, so I want to go to my series, and under the y-axis values, now I want to highlight my values here. That's going to be what I want, so I'll just go to the next. Now, I can do the same thing I did before. I could have uh, labeled these things. I could also... Uh, get rid of this. Let me just go to say finish at this point. And now I can just go to this uh, legend that's over there and hit the delete key. That gets rid of that. And of course I can reformat my preference of making things white there. And so this gives me the uh, values here. Now notice these these values uh, It's the axis, the scaling along the left side here is in thousands. Uh, I could actually uh, go and format that axis and I can change the scales. Instead of uh, starting at zero, uh, we could start at what would be a reasonable thing, maybe 3,000 or 4,000. We could start at 4,000. 
<clears throat> and uh, go to that and say OK. All right, so there we can see uh, a little better uh, the rate of increase. Now, uh, and that's basically it. We've got, now there's other things you can do with uh, uh, scatter the diagrams like this, and we'll be looking at some of that in later videos. Well, thanks for watching. I hope these uh, tips will help you. See you in a later video.